Hey guys, Dusty here. I thought today I would take you along with me for my Tuesday training. I have a quick and easy swim to do first thing in the morning, and then I have some, uh, yeah, hi. Then I have some hard efforts on the bike, and I finish off with a hard run at the track. So let's get going. Swim done, it was a quick and easy 2K. Um, uh, more so just a recovery swim. I like trying to get in the pool as many days in a week as I can, so usually six or seven, just it keeps my feel for the water high. And lately I haven't been finishing my stroke, I've been pulling out too early, so today I really focused on finishing my stroke. Did some work with some snorkels, fins, a little bit of uh, swimming with the paddles, and all in all, it was a decent 2K swim. Now it's time to set my bike up on the trainer and get a tough little session done. Today is a main set of five by three minutes at 350 watts. And the point of today's ride and the run a little bit later is not to completely bury myself, but just kind of rev up that engine a little bit over my red line. So I'll be doing the intervals today at 350 watts. So that's a little bit more than my FTP. And it's just gonna get my body back used to some hard efforts, especially with some very tired legs that I have today. So I've been putting this ride off a little bit too long this morning and I need to get to it. All right, bike all set up. Uh, have it here on my smart trainer. And today's workout is a prime example of why I like combining a smart trainer with Zwift. So when I log into Zwift, I can go and make a custom workout. And today's main set, like I said, is five by three minutes at 350 watts. So I can program that into my custom workout and then it'll tell my smart trainer that that's the power that I need to push out. So it doesn't matter if I'm pedaling at 60 RPM and it doesn't matter if I'm pedaling at 100 RPM. It'll, my trainer will set the resistance to make sure I'm pushing at that power output. So without further ado, let's get riding. Finished up that bike session a couple of hours ago. Um, it was tough, but I got her done. Uh, the 350 watt three minute intervals weren't too, too bad. If had they been five, I'd probably feel a little bit more gassed right now. But uh, we're off to the track and it's a cool 31 degrees Celsius out right now. So hopefully no one else is at the track, but with my luck, there's probably 50 people walking all on the inside lane. And today's session is eight to 10 400 meter repeats at a pace of 255 to three minute per kilometer. So I'm looking to do my 400s anywhere from a minute 10 to a minute 12 seconds. And yeah, let's go run. Yes. 
track is empty. <sighs> Alright, I have to get out of my air-conditioned car and work. Wish me luck. lavender at my track never noticed that all right track session over uh, ended up doing 8 by 400 uh, kept them all in the range so they're all 70 to 72 seconds and it is hot as Whew. Whew. it's hot just checked my phone and said it's 33 Celsius. So that's the hottest day of the year so far. All right, so training's all done for the day. Um, now, one thing that I do do anytime I finish a workout and I'm not at home, I always bring my recovery with me. Now, oftentimes it's a white powder, not brown. This is chocolate flavor. And uh, usually I'm sitting in busy parking lots with a bag of white powder. I always feel like I'm a, <laughs> like I'm a drug dealer. But uh, I'm gonna get this in me as soon as I can on the drive home. And then I still have a few hours to spend with the little one before it's her bedtime. So thanks for following along today. Uh, today was a decent day of training. It was a 2K easy swim to start my day off. Day off. And then, uh, and then we did a one hour bike ride consisting of three by five minutes, no, five by three minutes at 350 watts. And then we wrapped that all up with a run here at the track. It was about 45 minutes long and I did eight by 400 at 60 to 62 seconds, which is at 255 to three minute per kilometer pace. Slightly faster than my current 5K pace. All right, and that's it. Uh, my legs are pretty toast from all the training over the last couple of weeks and tomorrow is a recovery day yay if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related